Hi everybody and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every time. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we have everything for you right here. So the Major League Baseball playoffs have begun and we're going to take a look at uh, three of the four matchups for this weekend. But before we do, I invite you to join so you will have access to the VIP club section right here that has all the tools to help you make your picks. So let's take a look at the game for October the 9th first and... The matchup we want to look at here is the Atlanta Braves and the Milwaukee Brewers. The Braves entered the playoffs having won the National League East with a record of 88 and 73. The Brewers won the National League Central easily with a record of 95 and 67. You see the Braves are burning hot right now, winners of five out of their last six. While the Brewers are dead status at the moment, they uh, stumbled into the playoffs losing their last four. Max Fried is scheduled to pitch for the Braves. He was 14-7 with a 3.04 ERA during the regular season, and he will be opposed by Brandon Woodruff, who is 9-10 with 2.56 ERA. You see that uh, Fried was a much better bet at plus $301 on the pitcher profit oscillator versus minus $255 for Woodruff. If you take a look at the power ranking indicator, you notice here that the Braves are at plus 21, and the Brewers, because of their losing streak, they are down to plus 11. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchup during the regular season, you can see that the Brewers won two out of three from July 31st to August the 1st, and the Braves won two out of three from May 14th to May 16th. You can see they were relatively even during the regular season. If you look at the Tollers predictor, to so consider the over and under, you can see that the Braves are trending slightly over the line. The Brewers are trending slightly over the line as well. Let's look at the totals predictor. Uh, excuse me, I already looked at the totals predictor. The score predictor, excuse me. And the score predictor has the Braves with a huge margin of victory, 13 to 4, with 87% confidence in the prediction. I do like the Braves to win the game. I don't think it's going to be by a blowout margin of that kind, but I would avoid the over and under. Pick the Braves to win, avoid the over and under in this one. Now we will look at the game for October the 10th, Sunday. So let's take a I look down at what we have here. And the first game is the Tampa Bay Rays and the Boston Red Sox. The Red Sox advanced by defeating the Yankees. They finished the regular season with a 92 and 70 record, and the Rays posted top record in the American League at 162. The Red Sox are burning hat status. You can see that they have won four out of their last five and five out of their last six. While the Rays are averaged down, they lost their last game, and they are three and three over their last six. The power ranking indicator shows that the teams are deadlocked at plus 25 points, both on the upward swing, the Red Sox particularly on a very high upward swing. The head-to-head -head matchup shows, and you can take a look at it right here. Now you can scroll down through the whole list for the whole regular season, see who won what, but I tallied that all up, and it becomes the 11 wins for the Rays against 8 wins for Boston. If you look at the totals predictor, if you're considering the over and under bet, which we always like to do whenever we take a look at ball games, you can see here that Tampa Bay is trending way under the line, minus six points. And Boston is also trending well under the line, minus four points. That's a very good indication to bet the under. Let's see what the score predictor shows. The score predictor shows something a little bit different, though. Boston with an 11 to 3 edge. The 69.3% confidence. Again, it's the playoffs. Most of the time in the playoffs, you will not see such a huge margin of victory. I do not believe it's going to be that high of a score. I do like the Red Sox at home, but in a significant lower scoring game, and I will bet the under. So the Red Sox and the under. Finally, we have the Houston Astros and the Chicago White Sox. This is a great matchup. The Astros won the American League West with a record of 95-67. and 67. The White Sox won by a hefty 13-game margin in the Central with a record of 93-69. and 69. Houston is burning hot at the moment, winners of four out of their last six. And the White Sox are burning hot down, uh, losing their last game after winning their previous five. Neither team has declared their starting pitcher for this game yet, so take a look back closer to the game to see who is scheduled to start. The power rankings indicator shows that the White Sox are way up at plus 29, and the Astros have climbed from plus 6 to plus 17 over the last day. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchup between the two teams, you can take a look at that. And the head-to-head -head matchup, uh, well, let's see what happened here. The White Sox won two out of the last three. 
And then the Astros won the previous, look at that, uh, four, four. So the White Sox won two and the Astros won five during the regular season. The totals predictor shows Houston trending in games under the line. The White Sox trending in games under the line. This is a great indication to bet the under. Let's see what the score predictor showed. And this even shows it even more. Four to three for the White Sox over the, the Astros with 68% confidence. I would definitely bet the under in this one. And I actually, though, like the Astros. I just think they are the better overall team. They have more playoff experience. I like the Astros on the road in an upset and bet the under. So there you have it. Those are the three matchups for Major League Baseball for the playoffs for this weekend. Happy betting. Enjoy. And we will see you next time.